This morning I was launching our annual performance uh, plan for our staff. And uh, one of the th advice I gave to especially the people who are starting off their career is that unfortunately the jobs that you are currently doing will be extinct in the next five years, certainly even for the fund. Okay? Data, we have a big staff who work in data. I believe that two or three years, five years max, that job will no longer ex exist because we are going to find more efficient ways of doing it. We already are doing it. We have straight through processing. 80% of our transactions today, there is no human intervention. If the employer sends in the data that is correct, correct, the bank will upload it onto our website. Our website, will, our portal will pick it, put it into our system, no human intervention. So the three or four jobs that were doing that in the past, in fact, the, it used to be uh, receipting, um, capturing, uh, approving, I think there is another, there another step. That will all disappear because it's all automated. So, and that's all coming because of the changes in technology, the fact that things are changing much better. But I also said that this gives opportunities to the new fields, the new fields that require human interaction. For example, I said that people will need counselors. We are becoming crazier, all right? We need counselors. Uh, people will need to be able to innovate, come up with the new ideas, because artificial intelligence will help, but it will not help. You know, you will have to come up with those new ideas. So services become important, right? So the old manufacturing, which is the repetitive job, will disappear, but services will come. Leisure will increase. So people should go into leisure right? because people will become more disenchanted. So it all comes back to the, the new world we are living in, the new normal. The new normal means that people need to take advantage of the new things. Okay? Now, I think that in the short term, the old model, but... The new no model that is taking over, people need to take advantage of that new and begin to get employed. Because what, what happens is that there will be services that are required. People will need to be going on holiday. Right? Somebody needs to look after them. People will need to eat. Right? Which means that agriculture of the future needs to have good people. Now you need to be efficient in that agriculture. So artificial intelligence or the whole automation will take over that agriculture. So forget about your hoe. If your strategy today as a business is to distribute new hoes, forget about it. Maybe you need to distribute new robots that will do the agriculture for us. But people will need to eat. So the point is that there will be things that people will want and they will therefore will be... So it's, it's a whole new rethinking. And that's why I think that people need to change in their careers to continue to do that. And I am, I am one of the optimistic ones that there will be more employment, but it will be a different form rather than what it is today. And how will you fit into those ones? How will those ones fit in this in the, in the So the new, the, new, and, the, and, the and, new customers... And, and sorry, uh, given these people are walking into a very moody state of the economy, are you not worried uh, that you're going to have issues of difficulty mobilizing funds in this? Because the fund has had problems mobilizing from mobilized funds previously. Mm -hmm. What has changed? I think what, what has changed is that technology has given us an opportunity to be able to analyze. When I joined the fund in 2010, we knew we had 13,000 companies that were registered with us. I remember that the figure at the time was 6,700 were compliant and the rest were not. Today we've got 25,000, over 25,000, 26,000 actually, companies that are registered with us. We know that, we know which segments are growing. Education, for example, is growing. People are building schools. Did you know that? We know the areas which are reducing. Manufacturing is coming down. The organized manufacturing is coming down. 
Um, we know that services are going up. Uh, things like uh, leisure, like tourism is going up, hotels, that sort of industries. We know that security, because of the new problems of, of Al-Shabaab and uh, the terrorism, security is highly growing. You won't believe that on average we register over 2,000 Askaris, either here or those going abroad, to actually... So, the world, you know, deals with one industry, but then creates another industry. So, and we can only know this because of the IT we've got. So, I'm, that's why I say I'm optimistic that the world is becoming more efficient. There will be fewer people involved, but the returns for those fewer people will be higher, and therefore that money can then be used to do things like leisure and so on and so forth, so that that then helps the world. And if you look at people like, um, like uh, Mike Z Mark Zoberg, uh, the guy of Facebook, or uh, the guy of uh, Microsoft, uh, Mr. Bill Gates, you can see that they are thinking about the future that is being created, right? Food is important, right? Security is important. Um, if, the population, if the population which is poor gets poorer, there will be a crisis with the world. So how do we get that population engaged? And I think that's where the opportunity lies for us, even as a fund. The fact that we need, collectively as a country, we need to be able to do a lot of things with individuals so that they can continue to get a livelihood and therefore save. But also what is it, what's changing is that there is a higher demand to save with <coughs> NSSF. Why do I say that? Because in the past, my father, his father, relied a lot on the family support. They knew that my father, before he passed on, uh, after, when he retired from the civil service, he couldn't keep up his, with us, his, his upkeep. I kept that upkeep up. So I was his social security. I know that when I retire in the next few years, my kids will not be able to keep me up. I will have had to save money to be able to look after myself. So the pressure is back on everybody to be able to save. And let's, let's be honest about it. Pension is a plan you must enforce yourself. That plan cannot be done by your employer, cannot be done by your wife, cannot be done by your husband, cannot be done by your parents. You've got to do your own planning yourself because that plan is very, very uh, back, uh, very, very personal to you. Because if you don't, you'll become destitute. Of course, government has a responsibility to be able to look after you, but the resources of government are finite. If you look at Europe, if you look at America, what's the big thing? Everybody is cutting taxes. Who suffers? The citizens. So if they don't have good social services plans, if they don't have good plans they've had for themselves, they will have to work longer. That's what happened because they didn't save enough money for their social services. Is you need to ensure that you save. And that saving has to come out of your consumption today. Because everybody has their consumption out of. So they need to make sure that they get at least plan. And that plan should be unnecessary.